Hey, Ellen, save me a little hot water, would you? I gotta get to work. This is a great relationship. Yes, and here comes my favorite part, where she goes her way and we go ours. That's okay, because she's not looking for anything more than we are. We both want the same thing. She wants to be invisible in the girls' locker room, too? Last night was really a superb performance, Herman. <laughs> How about an encore? Oh, God, I'd love to, but I, I gotta get to work. Are you sure? Can't I entice you into an encore? Figaro, Figaro, Figaro! <laughs> well, maybe I can take the morning off. Mm -hmm. well, maybe I can take the afternoon off. Maybe I can take an indefinite leave of absence. is exciting. Dangerous. Troubled. That woman's not wearing underwear. Is that all you can think about? Food and sex? Yes. Please, focus. Look out! Louise is so sweet. I think this woman is wearing underwear. I think there's too many people in this elevator. And I think you are all idiots. I'm gonna work. No, he's not in, Mr. Crawford. Sure, I'll tell him. Oh, these must be for me. Well, how, do you, how do you know they're for you? Yeah, how do you know they're not for me? Why would they be for you? Did you win the Preakness? <laughs> See. Dear Herman, last mm. night was wonderful. Oh, I feel so special when you hold me in your manly, muscular arms. So it must be a different Herman. How do you doing that? <laughs> And sounds like things are getting pretty serious between you and Ellen, huh? Are they, are they, are they? Ha, 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 ha. Well, things are moving along nicely, I would, but I wouldn't call it serious. We just went out to dinner and we saw a movie. And you held her in your manly, muscular arms. We know, Herman. <laughs> oh, Hetty, you're just jealous because your boyfriend doesn't love you enough to send you flowers. I don't need love from a man. I can love myself. <laughs> Let's reflect on that image for a while, shall we? You know why married men die before their wives? Because they want to. What's wrong, Mr. Bracken? Oh, that damn wife of mine. Ever since we got back together again, she wants to talk at night. Oh, and you wanna... You know. No, I don't know. Good God, Hetty, on a weeknight? Maybe it would spice up your marriage a little, Mr. Bracken. Oh, and on a weeknight? No, I don't think I could. Mr. Bracken, uh, Mr. Crawford just called for you. Ever since they promoted that power-crazy lunatic to senior vice president, he has been all over me. Sherman, there you are. I don't have time to talk. Okay, Mr. Crawford. Don't you hear, man? I said I don't have time to talk. <laughs> Bracken, why didn't you return my phone call? When I call one of my people, I expect them to call me right back. I was just handed the message. I don't want excuses. Call me back. <laughs> Louise, would you get Mr. Crawford on the phone? That's more like it. One thing I don't like is not having my phone calls returned. Mr. Bracken, Mr. Crawford's not in. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Louise. Damn it, man, leave a message. <laughs> Tell him I'm returning his phone call and he can get back to me. Mr. Bracken's returning his phone call and he can get back to him. <laughs> That's better. Now I have an important announcement to make. I'll be just a moment. <laughs> Crawford. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. Bracken, did you want to speak to me? Um, yes. Well, it'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of a meeting. What's the matter with you, anyway? As I was saying, one of you has to go. What? This company can ill afford to carry this bloated, overstaffed research department. This department is not bloated. Oh, no? You ever seen Bracken in boxer shorts? <laughs> Wait a minute, Crawford. You can't come in here and fire one of my people without consulting me first. The truth is, I can. I'm the senior vice president of this company. You, you're fired. Get out. <laughs> See? M Mr. Crawford, that's my friend Amy. She doesn't even work here. <laughs> This is going to be more trouble than I thought. <laughs> but I welcome the challenge. If I can get out of that Vietnamese cage, I can handle this. Oh, I didn't know you were in the war. What war? It was a bachelor party gone awry. <laughs> oh, this is insanity. <laughs> Look, Crawford, this is my department, and I will not... You're right. This is your department, and you have 48 hours to put a bullet in someone. You want me to fire one of my people? If you'd prefer to do it that way. <laughs> see that it's done. Mm. Morning. Good morning. Mm. You were incredible last night. Uh, so were you. Can we stop the small talk and get ready for work? What do you have against Ellen? Uh, nothing. N nothing. <laughs> it's a remote control, I swear. <laughs> Look, we have nothing in common with this woman except for sex. And the sex is over, ergo it's time to book. I guess you're right. You can't build a relationship on great sex. Well, I can try, damn it. You better get ready for work. Herman, I've been thinking. I'd really love for you to meet my father sometime. <laughs> meet her father! This is going too fast. I couldn't help it. I got excited. Not that, you idiot. <laughs> oh. She wants more than we do. Well, then we're going to have to tell her the truth, that we're not interested in a long-term relationship. But what about the sex? <laughs> Wait a minute. Perhaps we can have our cake and eat it, too. We're going to have sex and eat cake? <laughs> they don't call you genius for nothing. <laughs> Look. We must dodge and parry. I think it'd be great if we could have dinner with him one night. I look forward to meeting your father. Sometime. In the future. You're awfully good at ducking the issue. Thank you. I'm considering running for public office. Got my vote. How many times must I tell you, use your hands? you're gonna fire? I'm still working on it, Louise. Believe me, I do not enjoy making the choice. Well, if you have to fire me, I'll understand. I appreciate that. Just don't know what I'm gonna tell that little Haitian boy I've been sponsoring. <laughs> don't do this to me, Louise. Have I shown you a picture of little Jean-Luc lately? <laughs> oh, Louise, you're breaking my heart. Look at those spindly arms, those bulging eyes, that distended belly. Oh, no, sir, that's a picture of E.T. He came with the wallet. This one here's Jean-Luc. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mr. Bracken. Louise isn't the only one with responsibilities. I'm sponsoring someone, too. I suppose you have a picture, too. Yes, I do. Look at that poor little girl. Hetty, I'm supposed to keep you on the payroll because you're in a thong bikini? Well, you wouldn't be the first. Thank you for your input. Why don't the both of you get back to work? Yes, we're lying in bed this morning, and suddenly out of nowhere, she wants me to meet her father. Oh, boy. Whenever I meet a girl's father, it's always the same story. First, he offers me money not to see her. Yeah? Yeah, and then what happens? I take the money. <laughs> okay, I don't think her father is going to offer me money. Oh, you're right. Sometimes they offer you goods and services. But you don't have to accept his first offer. You can haggle. Just start to walk out. He'll call you back. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Bracken, sir, I need to speak to you for a minute. Um, you have five daughters. Oh, that's right. Rub it in. I couldn't make a son. 
no, sir, that's not my point. You know, Herman, you picked a fine time to slam my manhood. I've been trying to figure out who to fire, and you're talking to me about my girly sperm. <laughs> No, sir. What I mean is, I, I'm, I'm seeing this woman, and she wants me to meet her father. So I, I was wondering, does that imply a serious commitment on my part? Herman, I've got a lot on my mind, so I'll be brief. If you're not serious about this young woman, then you shouldn't meet her parents. That would be stringing her along. He's right. We have to break up with Ellen. No way. The sex is too good. Oh, yeah? Well, until you change your mind, I'm going to talk in a Cockney accent. No, hello, Gov. Could you loan me a couple of books for some bangers and mashing a spot of tea? I saw the biggest bum on telly last night. Raw, all right, all right, all right. I'll do it, I'll do it. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Brack, and I guess I'll break up with her tonight. Oh, by the way, sir, and I know you, you have a tough decision to make about firing someone. Did I mention that I support a little Navajo child? <laughs> Herman, I am tired of hearing about this. We all have responsibilities. Now, you take a look at that picture. Mr. Bracken, how did you get that picture of Hetty in a thong bikini? <laughs> oh, man, I guess that got in there by mistake. This is the picture I'm talking about. Did the picture of E.T. come with a wallet? <laughs> that's not E.T., that's Grandma Bracken. Where are you taking me? I thought we were going to a restaurant. It's a surprise. Open up, Daddy! Daddy? 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 Well, he said he wanted to meet him sometime, and we already had a date, and he wasn't doing anything, so I thought this would be perfect. What do we do? We'll put off breaking up with her for a day or two. Exactly. And for now, we just have to humor her and the old man for a couple of hours. How bad can it be? Ah, welcome to Casa Crawford. <laughs> I'm honored you'd come and visit me in my home, but my daughter's boyfriend is coming over, so you get the hell away from here. No, no, Daddy. Daddy, he is my boyfriend. Oh, I could ask for no greater gift. Come on in. Come in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Kill the damn thing and be done with it. <laughs> Sherman, you like pit bulls? Actually, I'm allergic. That's just as well. They don't like people much. It reminds me, I didn't see that cable guy leave. Why didn't you tell me he was your father? You know, I work with him at Watertown. I didn't want his power over your professional life to influence you. You know, boss's daughter and all. But you have different last names. I was married briefly in college. I just never changed my name back. Okay, now you're divorced, right? If the body doesn't turn up this year, the marriage will be legally dissolved. Don't worry, it won't turn up. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about yourself? Yes. I'm crazy about you, Herman. Mm. Is this a private hug or can anybody join in? It's, it's private. Uh, you kids. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and go check on my quiche? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Sherman, you're not like the other boys that Ellen has brought home over the years. They weren't worthy of my daughter. My daughter is my gold, and I'll do anything to ensure her happiness. Well, not anything. Anything. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about that, because you make her happy. If she's happy, I'm happy. And if I'm happy, I can make things very pleasant for you at work. But if I'm not happy, then everything I said before is the opposite. <laughs> do I make myself clear? Surprisingly, yes. Good. Let's have a toast. To your health and longevity. <laughs> But if you got to know my father outside work, you'd really like him. Oh, well, what's not to like? <laughs> so, are we off for tonight? Uh, yeah. Great. See you later. <laughs> what? What are you two looking at? Herman, I thought you were going to terminate your relationship with that young woman. So did I. What happened? Crawford happened. He's her father. Oh, Herman. <laughs> I wouldn't trade places with you for all the reference material in the Library of Congress. Hey, Herman. Hey, Jay. So, Herman, what are you going to do? Well, I 
guess I'm going to break up with her. Are you nuts? Crawford is forcing Bracken to fire one of us to be dating his daughter. At least you're protected. Oh, you're dating Crawford's daughter, huh? Oh. My friend, you are on Gravy Street. <laughs> so you think I should keep seeing her? I think you should marry her. <laughs> marry her? That's right, pal. You marry his daughter, Crawford moves you right up the corporate ladder. You'll be a vice president the day you get back from your all-expense-paid month-long honeymoon on the Riviera. Jay, do you ever think before you give me advice? <laughs> I pretty much wing it. That does it. We have to break up with Ellen. Uh, breaking up with Ellen is the easy part. How are we going to tell Crawford? Well, we won't. We'll lay low and try and avoid him. It's not like we see him that often. Sherman! <laughs> The more I see you, the more I like you. Hello, Mr. Crawford. Not now. I have to talk to Bracken about a very delicate matter. Bracken! Huh. So which one of these losers are you going to fire? I haven't decided yet. Well, get on with it, man. You're the one who wanted to play God with people's lives. No, I didn't. You should. It's fun. <laughs> now, either you make a decision or I'll do it myself. Sherman, we're going to the country. Pack your bags. Oh, Mr. Crawford, I... I, I won't take no for an answer. You need to relax, damn it. Let's go get him and tell him. If we put it off, we're just going to get in deeper. No! I... <laughs> Timing is everything. I say we go with him to the country. You're right. It'll be easier to break it to him in that peaceful, quiet setting. Die, you son of a bitch! Die! <laughs> It's not a duck, it's a private plane. If it's in my airspace, it's fair game. <laughs> you can't just aim a gun and randomly shoot buckshot. You're right, what was I thinking? Where are those hollow tip shells? <laughs> those things are awfully big. Finest ammo money can buy. I don't know why they outlawed them in Germany. Damn fools. It's all yours. Mr. Crawford. Call me Papa. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to... Damn it, call me Papa. <laughs> Papa, I'm not sure how I feel about hunting. Oh, Sherman, since the beginning of time, men have been hunters, brutish Neanderthals with, with clubs and stones taking on a whole herd of woolly mammoths. We are their progeny, their blood courses through our veins. We are savage Neanderthals. <laughs> I don't want to shoot a cute little ducky. <laughs> oh, well, you butch it up. Look. Here's what we have to do. We have to stall until this nightmare is over. And if we have to kill a few cute little duckies along the way, then so be it. No. We came here to tell him that we're breaking up with his daughter. But he'll kill us. Oh, he won't kill us. The worst he could do is fire us. And it's better to lose our job than to live the rest of our lives with a woman we don't love. Mr. Crawford, we need to talk. <laughs> I think I know what it is. You do? You want to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage? You don't. You're old-fashioned. I like that. The answer is a resounding yes. Now, pick up that firearm and kill something with it before I lose my patience. M Mr. Crawford. Papa. Papa. You know, when you call me that, it makes me feel like everything is right in the world. Nothing my son will ever change that. I'm breaking up with your daughter. My first instinct is to blow your head off. <laughs> Mr. Crawford, you are not going to shoot me. You know, you're going to put down that gun and we're going to talk about this. <laughs> I wish I had a nickel for everybody who said that to me. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't love your daughter and I care about her too much as a human being to continue seeing her. Sherman, you can't break up with my daughter. It'll destroy her. Well, actually, Mr. Crawford, I've already discussed this with Ellen. It was difficult, but in the end, she said she understood. That's because she doesn't understand. <laughs> Sherman, I've been taking care of her all of her life. I won't be around forever. Mr. Crawford, Ellen can take care of herself. I want her to find someone, but I was hoping it'd be you. She's a terrific woman, sir. She'll find someone else. I don't know. She's shy, and Lord knows she's not all that attractive. In fact, I think she's still a virgin. Mm-hmm. Sherman, do you realize you're giving up the opportunity to climb up the corporate ladder? You could be vice president the day you get back from your month-long honeymoon. I know, I know, on the Riviera. I was going to say Laughlin, Nevada, but... Uh, <laughs> but the point is that everything would be yours if you marry her. But if I marry her for the wrong reason, sir, I will be miserable, and so will she. I'm sorry, I just won't do it. Sherman, I have to say, you stood up to me. 
most of the employees at Waterton are toadies or yes men, but, but you, you are a no man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Don't do that. Don't become a yes man. No, sir. That's the spirit. Now that we're on his good side, uh, let's take advantage of it. Let's make some demands. Uh, meatball subs every day for breakfast. No, let's use this opportunity to help our friends. Well, you're one of those big six-footers. Everyone eats. I'll handle this. And Mr. Crawford, one more thing. Please don't fire anyone in the research room. You know, if you want to cut the budget, maybe you should fire one of your redundant upper echelon executives. Chairman, this company would fold in ten minutes if it went for those highly paid toadies and yes men. <laughs> out of respect for your integrity, the research room will remain intact. Now, do you have any other demands? No, no, that's all. Well, you backed out too quickly. I would have given you anything. New car, more money, great big sandwich. <laughs> Why don't you people ever listen to me? Chairman, I gotta say you got guts. Oh, thank you, sir. No, on your trousers. That duck must have splattered real good. <laughs> thank God we're not in it for the meat, huh? Here's another one. Ah! Ah! Oh, Mr. Bracken, there's a message here for you from Grandma Bracken. Oh, what is it? It says phone home. That's not funny, Louise No, really, that's what it says Herman told you about that picture in my wallet, didn't he? I don't know what you're talking about Your grandmother called and that's the message Okay We'll take a look. And I'm Sherry Stanley. The verdict is in in a federal civil case against the Cambria County Sheriff. P plus, people in Gallitzin speak out over water woes. Gas prices increase at midnight. We'll show you why. Those stories and more coming up next on Newswatch. Join us.